Hi, welcome to Lagoons Do a Better TV, where we provide bite-sized segments that help your lagoon do it better. My name is Patrick Hill. I'm one of the founders here at Triple Point. Today, I want to talk about lagoon duckweed. So duckweed is something we commonly see in lagoon systems, and typically it grows in more quiescent ponds. You'll often see it grow the most in your polishing ponds. That's the last pond before you discharge out of the system. And it typically gets there because as the name suggests, ducks will fly into one pond, swim around a little bit, pick up some duckweed on their feathers, fly to the next pond, and then swim around a little bit. And then that seeds that pond where duckweed can then proliferate extraordinarily quickly. Contrary to kind of some confusion here, people think duckweed is algae. It's not. Uh, duckweed is a leafy plant uh, that grows on the surface of the water where algae actually grows underneath the absolute surface of the water within the first, you know, 12 to 24 inches of the water column. It can proliferate, as I mentioned, extraordinarily quickly within a lagoon system if the right conditions are present, but it's not actually algae. Some of the benefits of duckweed is it actually provides a natural cover on the surface of your lagoon. And in so doing, it actually prevents the microscopic algae that, that can grow in your pond. And that stuff is the stuff that makes your pond look pea green. As you look into the water column, you'll see it there. It just turns it all green in a different way than duckweed, where literally you have this leafy plant floating on the surface. And the issue with microscopic algae is it's extraordinarily hard to get rid of. It's one of the toughest plants in the world. And if it finds its way into your BOD test bottle, it'll actually make your BOD and your TSS look higher than it actually is. There's been numerous studies done on this that the primary cause of lagoon violations for BOD and TSS is actually algae and not because the lagoon is failing to treat the incoming waste coming into the system from the domestic or industrial source. And so when you have duckweed, you get that natural cover and it can actually suppress some of the algae growth. And a lot of times you get water that comes out of that pond that just looks crystal clear, beautiful. And so it's it can be helpful in that regard. It also takes up nutrients into its cell wall when it grows. So it actually sucks up nitrogen and phosphorus. And in so doing, it takes those nutrients out of the influent stream and into the actual duckweed itself and make sure you don't discharge those nutrients as much in the summertime months. You still discharge some nutrients for sure. The downside to duckweed is that when it sequesters those nutrients and then the duckweed dies in the wintertime, it actually sinks down to the bottom and the next summer it'll actually feed back or rebound those nutrients back into the water column. So you can get situations where you have fully nitrified water, for example, that goes into a polishing pond. And then on the back side of the polishing pond, it goes from zero ammonia on the influent to two milligrams per liter on the effluent. So it's a big concern when you get that nutrient rebound. That's not a good thing. And that's a big downside to duckweed. It can also lower the level of dissolved oxygen in the pond, not only because it's killing the algae or it's preventing the algae from growing. Algae, like any plant, will photosynthesize and add oxygen to water, which is great to a degree. However, you know, when you have duckweed on your pond, it, it's basically covering the pond, stopping the sunlight penetrating into the water column, and stopping the algae from growing and adding that DO. The other thing is that duckweed actually prevents some of the surface transfer of wind, of wind's action to to actually dissolve oxygen into water within lagoons itself. So a lot of facultative lagoons really rely on some of this wind action, the wind to come down, hit the surface, and actually transfer some of that air oxygen into water, dissolved oxygen. And when you have duckweed, it happens less. So if you have a DO limit, duckweed can be a problematic and helping you meet the dissolved oxygen limit that you may have. You know, it is something that is a downside to duckweed. So the real question is, what do you do? And my personal belief is, that duckweed is more of a friend than it is a foe. And really what you need to do is manage the duckweed. And you can do that in several ways. Unfortunately, the best but most labor intensive way to do it is to actually harvest the duckweed, which means actually pull some of the duckweed off occasionally off the pond and, and move it somewhere else, you know, create a mulch pile somewhere. And I've actually personally did, done this in the beginning days of Triple Point. We used to get out there, we made a makeshift boom with rope and pool noodles, corralled the duckweed into one location, used a pool skimmer that then pull up that duckweed and then dump it into a wheelbarrow and then moved it off to another location. Extraordinarily labor intensive, but it is a great way of managing duckweed because 
it actually removes it from the system and in removing it, it actually removes some of the nutrients from the system as well. The other thing you can do is you can use herbicides. Herbicides, just like anything like Roundup or any other type of herbicide, it just literally, you spray it right on the duckweed, it kills it. Downside to herbicides is that duckweed that dies, sinks down to the bottom, starts to break down, and creates that rebound that I talked about earlier. Not so good. The third way you can manage it is you can actually put grass carp in the lagoon. And typically you want to get what's called neutered grass carp. So grass carp that can't reproduce because these suckers will reproduce like crazy if you're not careful. And they will actually eat the duckweed. And so they make the lagoon look better. The downside is that the grass carp will eat the algae, the duckweed, sorry, and then poop the, the, the nutrient material out. It sinks down to the bottom and it causes that rebound factor again. So not great. Last but not least, the fourth methodology for managing duckweed would be to add aeration. And I hate to say that because, of course, we sell aeration systems here at Triple Point. But it is true. If you actually look at the Wikipedia article on duckweed, the first sentence it says, duckweed grows in quiescent water. So if you add an aerator, you are then breaking the tension uh, of the surface of the water. You're making it more turbulent, right? And in so doing, you're, you're kind of making it less hospitable for duckweed to grow. And so the aeration also pushes the duckweed to the side and makes it just harder for it to grow as well. So it's a kind of a natural control. Aeration will also break down some of the dead duckweed that's sitting on the bottom of the water column, which is great. It will add oxygen down there. So it will prevent some of that rebound from occurring if you are seeing a rebound. And overall, it's a pretty easy solution to implement if you've got the power and you've got the air there. It just does its job and there's not a lot of maintenance associated with it. You don't have to spray the duckweed, you don't have to do anything. Variation just kind of manages it. So we've seen that to be quite effective in the applications that we've used at them. So that's all we got time for today. Thanks for joining me. I ask you, if you're interested in this content, please subscribe to this video on YouTube. Right now, as of today, YouTube shows you ads, but doesn't pay us anything because we don't have a thousand subscribers. So if we get to a thousand subscribers and more, we will get a share of the ad revenue, and I promise you, we will donate the share, our share of the ad revenue to Rural Water or some other great organization that helps lagoons do it better. Please subscribe to this video. We also have a blog on lagoons.com. You can subscribe to that. Great content, great resource for, for any all things lagoon. We have an online ed education platform that we also have via our website where you can go get CU credit and watch online modules. I have a whole module on Duckweed, by the way. That's like an hour long. So great, great resource there. Go to lagoons.com, click the resources tab, go down, find that. Finally, we have a Facebook group. Our Facebook group connects operators with operators and you can ask questions on there and everybody shares their experience on what they did with this problem or that problem or duckweed or whatever. Great, great resource for all lagoon operators. So thanks for joining me today and we'll see you next time.